What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Braz, Dan Brazen in the building. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. It is bright and early for me. Um, you guys know I've been waking up early every Saturday for the like past six or seven Saturdays. I think there was one Saturday we missed because the Kids' Choice Awards were on. I've been waking up at seven every morning to give you guys the first fan club scoop on Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Today is episode six, and what is, okay, today we got Hanger Heist. I thought it was, I knew it was Hanger something. (laughs) So, today's episode was about Nate makes some new technology from a Giga Drone. I really like Nate. He reminds me of Billy every, every time I watch it, but he, so last episode they captured a Giga Drone and now they're trying to use the technology to help out. So now basically they've created like a um, tracking device that they can uh, get alerted every time a new Giga Drone comes in. So it's a cool, kind of a cool episode. It's one of those that's about team building and working on character flaws. I actually enjoyed this episode. So, Devin is having, like, some trust issues trusting his team. And, you know, they're they're in the Zord. Or, no, it starts with the rocket. Got to tell you about the rocket. Now, they're ro- launching off these cool-looking rockets. And Ben and Betty, you know, the Bulk and Skull of the show, they... They launched this crazy rocket, and it was, you know, some comic relief. And then, Devin, you might be the leader, dude, but you don't know how to put together a rocket. He comes with this rocket, and it's, like, all messed up. Like, it it looks like an X, and it just, it don't look like it's going to fly. And Robbie tried saying, like, hey, like, are you sure you want to fly that? Did you put that together right? And and Devin's like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm the leader, and... It flies and it just goes down into pieces because he, it didn't look like a rocket. It it looked like it was going to blow up. So, (laughs) and that was the first step and Devin not listening. And then they get back to um, Grid Battle Force and they're simulating putting the Megazord, assembling it into its, you know, full mode, combining all three Zords. And... All they got to do is put the shield up and morph the Zord together. Well, Devin's like, no, leave the shield down and I'm going to blast him while we morph. That sounds real smart, right? Well, guess what happens? In the simulation, the Giga Drone hits him while they're morphing and takes him out. And Robbie's just trying to be that cool wingman. Like, hey, bro, I've done this before with... With Roxy and Blaze, I practiced this. Let me help you. And Devin's like, no, I'm the leader. I don't need no help. And Storm's out. Um, Robbie's mom, the commander, she comes out. And she's like, I thought you were better than this. Like, you need to trust your team. He does have more experience. And he storms out, walks away. So this is where things get fun. So the Roxy... Evil Roxy, Avatar Roxy, she pops up and they're trying to steal back the um, the Giga Drone that was taken from them because they don't they don't want the Power Rangers making new technology and really understanding our stuff. They're already smart. They get some of our stuff with their stuff. They're really gonna take it to us. So they try to steal it back and they make this kind of cool. Um, like metal eating monster say that three times fast so i really liked the idea because it had this little like maybe i wasn't a big fan of it it, it looked like like an air cylinder and it just popped it busted out like smoke and it melted metal um i thought it was kind of cool so they're fighting them and Basically, this door is closed and Robbie throws Devin through there and says, you got to listen to me. You got to go out. You got to go get your sword and you got to get through this door. Basically, (laughs) the red and the blue ranger are trapped fighting this guy in with the Giga Drone. And the Giga Drone is set up to destroy the rangers. So 
in a small period of time, they're going to get blasted and killed by a, basically a Megazord, okay? So Devin's got to work real hard, gets into his Zord, shoots over, ends up fighting another Gigadron. I thought this was cool. Like there was, They were fighting multiple villains in, in this show, and I love it. There's not just one fight like every other Power Rangers show. No, they're, they're, they're fighting Roxy. They're, they're fighting the Metal Melter guy. Now they're fighting another Giga Drone. It, it's pretty cool. I like it. So, Devin ends up using um, the, uh, the giant Giga Drone's Metal Melter abilities to melt the, uh, the door to open up for the Power Rangers to get out so they don't get destroyed by this Giga Drone Megazord looking thing. So they get out, they realize that, hey, we need to work together. Devin, you want to be the best leader, you need to listen to your team. And I honestly like what they're doing because, you know, most Power Rangers episodes in the past have teached us life lessons. But these are some really good, like, developing leaders and good skilled workers. Like, you got to lead, you got to listen to your team. Last episode was about... Balancing life and balancing responsibilities. And, and I like where they're going with this. Not only do I see, think it's got good messages for kids, but just, just a reminder, you know, in life, like, trust your team. If good people are around you, and even if you are the leader, just take a second and listen to people. Because sometimes they might have a better idea than you for this certain thing. And then later on, you'll have a better idea for that certain thing. You put them together and we can all succeed. Really like this episode, guys. Let me know what you think. I, I love what they're doing. Um, episode 6 was... This was probably, you know, one of those episodes that focused more on character flaws. And I thought it was going to be like... Oh, uh, here, here's the first one that they wrote off, you know, they wrote it off the show. No, they kept the fighting up. There was plenty of battles. There was multiple villains, like I said. Great job, Hasbro. I love it. I love that I can come on this show and give honest feedback on a Power Rangers show that was, was good. Like, it was, like, it's obviously Power Rangers, but you could tell that there's a refreshing new air like, it's just, ah, oh, it's nice. I love it. But y'all have a great day. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, the Fan Club, TFC 563. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time here on the Fan Club. Peace.